sorry I haven't done any videos in a while. I've been busy. I'm in the process of moving, so I've been doing a lot of packing and getting rid of stuff. And I've had my hair flat ironed for about three weeks. And um, then I decided to braid it up. I decided that um, I'm gonna take it down and wash it today. It's been, you know, take out all that shedded hair and wash it and do a deep conditioning. It's time. Then I'll probably, um, I don't know, do a twist out or whatever. As you can see, let's see here. Yeah, I have a few inches about what? What's this? About one and a half, two inches of regrowth of gray back in my hair. As I've mentioned on previous occasions that um, I don't gray in my strands, as you can see here. It's all in the roots. So if I wanted to grow my hair out gray, I'd have to just be a while and I don't think I could stand it if it was in the strands no problem but growing out from the roots like this I don't like that so I just keep touching that up anyway I'm going to go ahead and um, wash it deep condition it probably using the um I might go out in the backyard and cut out some aloe vera and do a deep conditioner with that or I might go back to using my all-time favorite, which is the uh, Shea Moisture Manuka. Okay, I just shampooed my hair. I still have a curl pattern, so I haven't uh, done heat damage to my hair yet. I want to straighten it again, but I'm afraid I might do some damage to it now. This is with no product on it yet. I'm going to add a deep conditioner to it next. I just haven't decided if I want to do the, um, was it aloe vera or just my, my, what's that, uh, Shea Moisture, Manuka. But you know what, I'm being lazy today, so I'm just gonna, cause I don't feel like going outside cutting any aloe vera tree. So I'm just gonna use my Shea Moisture. I have this Denman brush. I can't stand it. It's too soft for my hair. I need something more coarse. I like my Nalco. I can't seem to find. finger detangled before I put the stuff in it. Hopefully I can get the comb through it smoothly. Okay. Alright, let's add Sometimes I'm tempted to cut my hair I said, no, I did not grow it out for nothing. I've been cutting my hair off and on so much throughout the years. 
But at this point, I decided I just want to let it grow out completely. And as far as the top, I've always been cutting it because it was layered. But every time it gets long at the top in the front here, I end up cutting it. But I decided, and I'm going to see how long that's going to last. If I'm going to let this catch up with this. <laughs> I'm going to try this time. Now I did buy another wig. And I'll put a picture of it up here. <laughs> I bought another wig that looks almost like the uh, hairstyle, the diva cut that I like. But of course, when you buy those cheap ass wigs from China, what do you expect, right? And actually they have the same wig on Amazon. The same identical wig for over a hundred dollars. Now, the cheap price that I paid, and it came from China, of course. Hmm. I should have known better. It came from China. It wasn't shaped like um, I wanted it. And Amazon, it says human hair, so I don't even trust that. So I'm done with trying to do that. I will go in the store next time and just buy an Afro wig. And just, you know, switch up from time to time. Let my hair get that break that it needs. Now, I've clipped my ends not too long ago. I don't want to do it anymore right now because I'm going to dye my roots later. Well, not later today, but uh, within the next few weeks. Then I'll give myself a trim then. But now I'm going to go and sit under my heating cap for 30 minutes, as stated on the directions. Okay, I decided to try out this. I have my heating cap. I'm too cheap to buy a hot head, and I thought about buying a beautiful hair steamer, which I still might. I have a Curie Do, and I also have this thing here. But I decided to try this out because it's supposed to process natural body heat, self warming elastic band holds cap security. So I'm gonna give this a try. Okay, while well, this is processing, I have the timer set for 30 minutes. I'm going to use this time to get some work done. Do some updating on my web pages, my website. Check my emails and stuff like that. Okay. I kind of deep conditioned it over 30 minutes. I got on the phone running my mouth and forgot. The cap was so tight it just left a line on my forehead. But looks like my curls, yep, my curls are back. I'm going to rinse this out and I um, think I'm just going to um, twist it back up. I'm going to use some uh, natural 85s oil. And I think I'm going to use as far as conditioner, I'm going to try out the Shea Moisture Lush length leave, Light Leave-In Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil. Let's see how that works. Yeah, the curls just wrapped around each other like a plant leaf. Okay. Yep, my curls are still here. I'm 
Now I'm gonna try this. See, I'm used to using the heavier leave-ins. This smells, it's got cannabis, sativas, hemp seed oil, ginseng root, and horsetail extract. It has like a lemon type smell, citrus type smell to it. I hope I don't regret this. I see normally I use um, this uh, Giovanni Direct Leave-In conditioner and sometimes a Garnier buttercream and okay it's my Cantu Leave-In but I haven't decided what I'm doing with this probably just um I don't know you can look at my other videos on how I style it but today I'm just washing it deep conditioned it and uh, washed it deep conditioned it and I just put some leave-in conditioner and I'll add some of uh, Whitney's oil to it because I uh, let's see I have coconut oil which I normally use but as you can see it's emulsified Denman for this. For this thing here, I'm gonna have to get another one that feels coarse like my knockoff. This is too soft. This is okay when I flat iron my hair, but when you're doing a wash and go or twist up, this ain't the brush for that. I don't know where my knockoff is, but I'll use this for now to just Oh, through. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. oh, see how thin my hair is here. I've been using Jamaican black castor oil there, but People swear by it. I haven't seen any results. And maybe I did permanent damage because I actually pulled my roots out myself. I mentioned this a long time ago when I was in the hospital for my back surgery. The drugs that I was on, the morphine or whatever, I couldn't control it. I knew I was doing it, but I couldn't help myself. It was like a tick. And I just kept pulling it from the roots. I think I, think I did permanent damage because it ain't coming back. Citrus fruit. I prefer my, this is like a watery type leave-in. I generally prefer my cream leave-in conditioners. But I'm gonna give it a chance. Let me scalp. 
My bangs are, are growing. Still have a little ways to go yet, but like I said, I'm trying. I'm not going to cut it. At least that's my intentions. Not to cut it. Okay. 